Hey beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is gonna be a little fun. I'm gonna be trying on two red lipsticks. Um, I really wanted a red lipstick that looks good on my skin complexion. So I went out and bought the Fenty Beauty um, liquid lipstick by Rihanna in the color Uncensored and then I went back to Sephora and got the Sephora cream lip stain in the color Very Red. Um, we're gonna try them both on. I'll let you know the pros and cons of each of them. We'll see what we're working with, how they look, and then I'm gonna let you know which one I prefer and we'll see if Fenty Beauty lives up to all the hype, okay? I want you guys to get a true view of the actual color, so I'm going to record the try-on in my dining room because the lighting is better in there right now. Um, so yeah, let's get straight into the video. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the Sephora Cream Lipstick first, or Lip Stain. So I have tried Sephora Cream Lip Stains and I love them. I love the formula. I love how long-lasting they are. They don't transfer. I just really like them. So for this, I paid $14.95. This one is definitely the cheaper one um, between the two. So we'll see how this actual red color looks. So something I didn't mention is my lips are pigmented, so they have like darker spots on them. So when I started wearing lipsticks up, it was really important for me to find pigmented lipsticks and lip stains that actually covered all that and like, you know, was like one shade, the, the actual color all across my lips. Um, so we'll see how each of them do with actually, you know, giving my lips full coverage in a sense. Okay, so that was layer one and now we're gonna do the second coat. So you can't see that much, but you can see like this is darker, that's darker, with a dark spot there. So it's not like complete pigment to where you can't see anything. Um, but it's still a really pretty color. It's like a really nice red, like I don't feel like, oh my gosh, like, you know, it's a really nice red. And obviously if you want it to mute it down more, you can use some more lips liner. Um, but yeah, it's really pretty. And after putting on so many layers of it just to get this um, coverage, it doesn't really feel comfortable to wear anymore. Um, I can feel like it feels kind of build up -y. So that kind of sucks. Yeah, definitely like in here. Mm. But it's kind of like stiff. Like I put so many layers on of the color. So this one doesn't transfer, which is something I like about it. Like you see, you don't see that much red. So this is a Sephora cream lip stain. If you don't know, you can use coconut oil to get your lipsticks and stuff off works really well so and also this is how it will look if you put a gloss on it I guess and there we are back in action back like we never left no Woo. I need to your lips okay so now we're gonna try on the Fenty Beauty one so here this is how this one looks So yeah, I'm pretty sure you've seen this around. <laughs> so I'm gonna do the same thing I did with the other one. I'm just gonna line my lips. Oh, y'all didn't tell me I had red on my face. Rude. How rude! So this one, the total for this was twenty five sixty eight. I think. So yeah, twenty five sixty eight. A whole twenty five dollars for this lipstick. So we are gonna try her on now. So this is the first coat of Fenty and I've learned my lesson for not letting this dry and just putting my lips together before it dries. Does it just doesn't um, go well. So I'm gonna let her dry before I put my lips together. Okay, so that's the first coat. Um, yeah, so this one definitely has I think more coverage after the first coat. Like I see 
her dark spot there but i don't really see the other ones i saw so the way that they brand this fenty one is one stroke intensity 12 hour matte wear um unrivaled precision wand so it's supposed to be um pretty like intention have full coverage which it seems to be doing this one is definitely more watery of a formula um than the sephora one so you have to make sure you shake it or it's just not gonna it's just gonna be watery like when i tried this on in sephora um the bottle like tipped over and literally lipstick got on the floor because it was that watery so yeah i'm gonna go on ahead and put on the second layer just like i did with the sephora one <laughs> Showing up brighter than the Sephora one on the camera, so. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Um, this one is actually way more transferable than the Sephora one. Um, it does dry matte, as you can see. So let's see. Oh yeah, so that's a big difference. And then we did the Sephora one. So this is two coats of the Fenty Beauty, Uncentered, and it definitely has more coverage. Yep, so it definitely has more coverage than the Sephora one, which regardless of like what I think about the formulas, that's really what I'm looking for in a red. And also because I only put two layers of this on, it doesn't feel as cakey as it did with the three layers of the Sephora one that I had on. So even though I love Sephora cream lip stains, Fenty Beauty Uncentered is definitely a better red for me because of how pigmented my natural lips are. Yeah, it looks really good. <laughs> I think my final verdict is that I'm gonna end up keeping the Fenty Beauty one just because of the coverage and because I have pigmented lips so I've tried Sephora cream lip stains before like I've said and I love them and other colors I think have more pigment than this one when it comes to how many coats I have to use um, and I don't want to have to use so many coats of this and then it ends up being crusty or something so I'm gonna keep the Fenty Beauty which is crazy because I bought this one first and literally went back and bought this one because I was like no nah, this ain't gonna do it just because um, it was like the formula seemed watery to me and I just wasn't in love with the color but I actually do really love this color right now um I think just like figuring out lip liners and like how you know to let it sit before you put your lips together so that it actually sets figuring out all that so I actually really do like this color now I like both colors actually um but I think in terms of coverage and intensity I'm going to keep this one and jump on the Fenty Beauty wagon just for this one. <laughs> um, but if you don't have as pigmented lips as mine, it might be fine for you to just go ahead and get the Very Red in Sephora and do this and save some coins because this is still really pretty. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep the Fenty Beauty one. Um, if I change my mind, I'll let you guys know in my description box, but I think that's what I'm gonna do. Okay guys, so that is it. Leave any questions, comments, or suggestions down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, turn on your notification bell, all that good stuff. But most importantly, do not forget that your life is totally worth living. I love you and I'll see you next time. Bye!